children today we will continue with our chapter advanced features of word processor part 1 in this today we will cover the following topics using column button inserting column break inserting page break inserting line break and tab stops when you type in word document by default the text is displayed in a single paragraph a single column style then you can select that column then click on the layout tab columns button and then you can click on two columns option click on the columns button then you can make more columns by clicking on the three columns option in this way you can make MS Word document in newspaper style that is you can insert column now again if I select one column then you can see only one column a portion of the text can be selected and converted into multi column that means two column or more click on the more option you can click the line between option here also you can make columns and click OK so you can see that we have inserted a line between the two columns. Children, whenever children, whenever you click and press the tab key, your cursor moves around 0.5 inches that means five spaces if you press a space bar key only one space you can move but to move five spaces you have to press the tab key now this space of tab key can be increased by clicking on the layout tab paragraph group and in this you will be able to see the paragraph settings and when you will click on the tab option you will be able to see this box here you can see the default tab stop is at 1.27 centimeters suppose uh, I increase the tab stop to 3 inches then I click on the set option the so 3 inches is around 7.62 centimeter and I have to press the 7.62 centimeter in the default tab also okay now if I say set and then I said okay now if wherever my cursor is and I press the tab key you will see that my uh, this uh, tab is moving 7.62 centimeter okay so we can increase and decrease the space how much our tab moves this depends upon us whenever we are clicking when we whenever we are pressing on the tab key we can increase and decrease the to insert a line break we have to simply press the enter key wherever our cursor is if we want to break the line we have to take our cursor over there and we just have to press the enter key from there our line breaks from insert page break option you can see that we can go to the next page wherever our cursor was and if we click on the page break option then we can go to the next page suppose i select the text and click on the layout tab columns then if I make it two columns then 
if I click on the column break, so wherever our cursor is, it comes to the next column. So children, you have to continue and complete these question answers in your notebook. We will meet again in the next video. Thank you for watching the video.